Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we have a very typical day here in Hawaii. This is just what an average day looks like. Got a lot of clouds blowing through. Periods of pure sunshine. They can be challenging solar capturing days, but all in all with a fast MPPT solar charge controller, uh, do pretty well here. So I can look and see the weather that's coming is that bluer sky over there, but it's gonna be just very typical day. And in today's experiment that I'm doing for my own purposes, just so I can see how a charge controller works, being just pretty well maxed out on the power, we're using these three new power 12 volt, 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels in the experiment. And if we look on the back of these panels, we can see they have an open circuit voltage 19.83 volts and 6.26 amps is what these will push. And we've got three of those tied in series. And they're coming into this Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller. This is the MPPT7515. So if we add up what that should be in series with those three panels, we should be maxing this charge controller out. So what I wanted to know is if I slightly exceed the rating on this charge controller, will it actually kick in and regulate down uh, to protect itself? So 19.83 open circuit voltage times three, since they're in series, comes out to 59.49 volts. Well within the 75 volt uh, parameters of this particular charge controller. But then the 6.26 amps times 3 comes to 18.78 amps possibility of pushing through there. So I'm going to hope for the ideal sun conditions, even in this partly cloudy day, which will be hard to catch. But I'm going to sit here and try and catch it live and see what happens if I exceed that amperage. So, opening up the Victron app for this particular charge controller, right now, except for one small, small shadow, just a, about the width of a broom handle uh, going through a corner of one panel, they're in full sunshine, pumping 205 watts, 48.8 volts, and that's fine. Uh, the current, 4.2 amps, and the current at the battery, 14.9 amps. So right at the, uh, the threshold of the 15 amps for this charge controller. And 206, 205 watts. So it appears to be throttling it down. Uh, this should be going closer to 300 watts. I'll wait for that one shadow to get off of there just to make sure. But I was watching this earlier and the charge controller was not allowing uh, the amps uh, to go over that 15 amp there. It was staying right about 14.8, 14.9. Occasionally it would spike to 15 and then it would kick the panels down a little bit more. So this is a question I've always had. If if I had uh, exceeded what the charge controller was capable of, uh, even just by a little bit, what would happen? So I'm just answering my own curiosity. I don't recommend you ever try to over uh, panel your system for the capabilities of the charge controller. 
I'm just doing it for my own purposes and sharing what I experience with you. And that's it. So don't do as I say, just watch what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I really wanted to know, because uh, I wanted to add an extra panel to this and see what would happen. And right there, it's just holding it rock steady at about 14.8. And it holds it pretty well steady at about 205, 206 watts out of 300 watts available. So I think I could assume that the charge controller is doing exactly what it's supposed to in a situation like this where, you know, if it was letting in the 300 watts that are available, it would probably be exceeding the 15 amp rating on the charge controller. So this is interesting for me to see because this sh should be going closer to 300 watts. It's not, and it's because of that amp rating. I'm almost certain about that. Some of you will be able to uh, chime in on this, but yeah, I was always curious what would happen if I kind of pushed the limit and so I wanted to run that little experiment. I was sitting here thinking about that today. And I thought, well, you know what? The 200 watts worth of panels, what if I just added that third, third 100 watt panel and see what happens? And of course, now you can see a cloud's rolling through. Uh, the, the wattage changes like it does out here. This is just a very typical day. You can see another cloud rolling through. The, the wattage quickly drops. Uh, the amperage drops as well. You know, now it's uh, pumping 10, 11. It just fluctuates very quickly. And you can see how fast that Victron MPPT works. It's just, it's just so quick, lightning quick. Cloud moves in, cloud moves out. But it's not allowing it to go over about 205, 206. So it's definitely not uh, anything efficient because I've got 300 watts worth of panels out there. And even in the uh, brightest conditions, which right now they're in full sun. And I'll take a peek and see if that little shadow is still on there. Okay, I just ran in from outside. There is not so much as one bit of a shadow on that 300 watt array. And it just continues to hold it 205. And of course there's the, the cloud rolling through. So I just barely caught that for you guys. Now here it goes. That is full sun. Absolutely no shadows hitting a 300 pa uh, panel array. And the charge controller is not letting it go over 15 amps. 14.9, 14.8, holding it right there. So that answers my curiosity. I was just wondering what would happen. I've heard that question posed before on the channel. Would the Victron actually uh, protect you? It, it appears at least with just a one panel, maybe pushing the limit, yes. But again, not recommended, just for curiosity's sake. And of course it's not the most efficient thing uh, at all. I mean, it's not letting in uh, 300 watts or anything near it as it should so you're just you're wasting the panel anyway so you know size your system appropriately within the parameters of your charge controller but I just wanted to know what would happen and there it is should read 300 watts or close to it and it won't let it go over that amperage the voltage is fine it's just pushing it right to the limit on the 15 amp end of the controller, reading 14.8, 14.9. So anyway, I answered my own question. <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids. Well, you might just say I have too much time on my hands to be uh, tackling big questions like that. But when I think of them, sometimes I just have to check them out for myself so I know and now I know. Have a great day, everybody. Beautiful, beautiful. All systems go. Aloha.